Hello everyone, welcome back to my craft room. Today I'm going to make a card using products from the Magnolia Lane Sweet. This is a beautiful sweet, it's, as its name says, it's just magnolias. This is the paper, you can see the lovely colours. I love magnolias. You can get them in different sizes. And you get a nice, this is a nice one because this could be used at any time, couldn't it? And look, that would make a nice man's card. So they're lovely. And a lot of these images, this is another set of designer series paper that is really easy to fussy cut out. Now this suite does come with a set of dies. And not only do the dies cut out the stamp, one of the, some images on the stamp, they also cut out images on the designer series paper. But as I don't mind fussy cutting, I'm, I'm quite likely to just sit and cut of an evening, cut into my designer series paper piece and just chop up and make lots of car, uh, flowers or whatever. And this is one of the ones I've done that with. So let's get on. Now this is the stamp set and as you can see it has got this enormous magnolia which is beautiful for colouring but I'm actually going to use it for something a bit different to that and it's got some nice sentiments. Now what I've done is this comes as a two-part set so because I I'd rather put them on my shelf in one box. I've taken them out of the two boxes and I've put them into one, just one box. And you can buy these in a set of four and they are so useful. And then on the back, I always put a little label that says which dies go with the stamps. And then on the dies, I put the same thing to say which stamp set goes with that um, set of dies. But we're not going to use dies today, we're going to use punches and they are always my go-to. So let's get started. So we're going to make a normal A6 card, so that's A4 cut in half and then folded in half. And I've made a little mat to go on the top. Um, I'm one of these people who likes lots of white space. The girls that come to my stamp and sip classes, they do make fun of me, but I'm sorry, it's just the way I am. I like space, white space. So this one is certainly gonna have some white space. And I'm just looking for a scrap piece of paper to put underneath this. Okay, let's use this piece. So what I've done is I've mounted up the big magnolia. And can you see how huge it is? I mean, it is enormous. And it will even overlap the size of this mat. Now, because it's such a big stamp, it's much easier when you're applying the ink to tap, tap, tap all over. I mean, that is quite heavy to hold. I don't think I could hold it as for as long as I would need to make sure I get ink on it evenly. So just tap, tap, tap all over. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this where am I going to put it? Let's see. I want to get the majority of the design on my piece of paper. There we go. And because it's a big stamp, press it all over, especially in the middle. There we go. And I'm going to lift it straight up. Now it's quite, see, look, it's bigger. Oh, sorry, I knocked you. It's bigger than my whole hand. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now I will clean that in a minute. Oh, and I've stamped that in crumb cake. So that's really nice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a strip of 
this is mossy meadow and this is one of the colors that goes with the uh, goes with the designer series paper pack and then another piece of designer series paper there and then I've already punched a starburst shape uh, and that's going to go somewhere there and I've fussy cut one of the flowers from one of the sheets here so that's this top sheet can you see so I fussy cut one of those now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, a sentiment on here and this is from the stamp set and it's enjoy today so that's going to go on there now what I'm thinking I'm going to do is <clears throat> This is just a scrap of Whisper White um, and it measures one inch in width and I'm going to bring in this delightful tag topper punch and this is one of those punches where you can punch out three different widths of card or designer series paper. So I've done it at one inch and all you do is pop it in there, make sure it's nice and straight. I like to turn it over just to make sure that I've got it right up to this edge. Okay. Let's get rid of those. Okay, so it's going to go on there like so. And I thought I could just highlight that nice edge to the that piece that I've just punched out and this is the what's it called this is the timeless label punch and I thought that just showed up that edge really nicely and as there's some black in the flower I've done it in basic black now what I'm going to do is I'm just turning this over. Let me get my scissors. And I'm just going to cut that off there. Like so. I'm bringing my card again. So the idea that I have is that that's going to go underneath there. And then my sentiment is going to go on the top. But I don't want to stamp the sentiment on here so I'm going to bring in another piece of let me get my scrap pieces of Whisper White and I'm going to stamp that again in crumb cake oh in crumb cake over here Lovely. Again, I'll clean that in a sec. And I'm going to bring in the classic label punch. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you will see I use this a lot. Uh, I do. It's really one of my favourites. So I'm centering that in that little window, like so. I love the sound that our punches make. So now that's going to go like that, that's going to go like that. So my flower is going to sit on top of the whole thing. So let's, before we go any further, let's do some, some putting together. Oh, I need some glue. Okay, so uh, I'm going to put some... Tombo liquid glue on here and as you saw I didn't put very much on you don't need an awful lot and I'm going to line that up like so so I can see some of that 
mossy meadow behind that piece of card and that's going to go on there I know it's a shame to cover up that lovely that lovely image isn't it but it was only there as background that's all right so that's going to go on there is going to go on here but before I put it on there I thought I might like to use that little hole to put some ribbon on so we've got some beautiful ribbon here and this has got a shine to it can you see that it's lovely and it's mossy meadow and pretty peacock um, and can see there's the pretty peacock side but I'm going to use the shiny side so all I'm going to do is I'm going to thread that through there like so <coughs> oh, excuse me I've had a bit of a throat for the last fortnight and all of a sudden it catches me unawares now I don't want to tie a knot in that because it will be too bulky so what I'm thinking, I was thinking I'm going to use is some twine. And again, if you watch my videos, you know I use this a lot. So let's just make sure that's the right way up. And then I'm going to wrap this around here. Oh, but yeah, do it, wrap it round. And you need to an extra pair of hands when you're doing this but that's okay and just pull it tight there we go nice now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie that in a knot Tie that in a knot like so. Oh, I've lost the end. There we go. Now I'm going to cut the ends off and I'm going to cut them long for the minute because I don't know whether I'm going to tie that into a bow or whether I'm just going to leave it as a knot. So let's get that out of the way. Okay, so this is going to sit on there like so. And I think what I might do is I'll use dimensionals to just to pop that up. Okay. So I'm going to put the dimensional on here. Like so. It's raining hard outside, so after all our very hot weather, we've now gone back to rain. Never mind. So there we go. So that sits on there. Let's get rid of those bits. So that's going to sit like so on there. Coming together nicely. Plan is that that's going to sit there like that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in place. <clears throat> See if I can get that level. That's the, the blessing of liquid glue, 
because you do get a little bit of wriggle room to try and get it on the straight. Okay, right. Now, what I want to do is, I mean, this looks a bit untidy here, doesn't it? So my starburst is going to go over there. Now, obviously, I need to put this up on dimensionals. So let's put some dimensionals. If I put that there, I can see where my dimensionals need to go. There we go. Lovely. I don't like to have these little bits hanging around because you guarantee they'll get into something that I don't want them to. Okay, so there's so far. Now, <clears throat> here's my little sentiment that I stamped out. So I'm going to put that on. I think I'm going to put that on a dimensional too, but it's a bit wide for the big ones. So let's use the tiny little ones. Let's bring in a, a pokey tool. so we can pick these up easier and if you haven't seen this before this is our pick you up tool and it comes with two ends as you can see this end has got um, sort of a gluey stuff in it so you can easily pick up um, jewels and pearls and things like that so that's quite handy and I always like to put this lid back on in case it gets picks up something else and then the other end you get two bits like this one is like this where it's got a pokey tool and then a flat little bit and then there's another bit which I don't have to hand at the minute which has got two um, embossing ends a thick one and a thin one so it's very handy and it all comes in a little box as well so anyway let me pick these out So that's going to sit on there like that. Okay. I'm leaving the flower till last, obviously, because I might have to sort of move it round to make sure I don't cut off anything of any of the sentiment. over as far as I can like so right now we're ready to put our flower on oh look that looks good doesn't it that looks really smashing and again I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals we're using a lot of dimensionals on this card aren't we whoops Now we've got this side to sort out. Let's try it with a bow. Now I'm going to try to do a bow. Now the last time I did one of these online it did not work very well but let me have another go. Oh that's not worked out too bad. I'll pull that end a bit. Pull that end a bit. What do you reckon? Oh, I think that looks pretty good. I'll snip that off. And snip that off there. And then I'm going to come in and I'm just going to snip these off a bit. So they don't hang over too far. Now, this is just a mat to go onto my base card. So I need to then glue all of this 
onto the base card. So it's going to be one of those. And that's just going to sit on there. Now I could put some coloured designer series paper or card behind it, but I think it's lovely just as it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some liquid glue. Now because I'm putting this onto white, I'm going to just put the glue down the middle here because sometimes if you're heavy handed with it, and even I can be heavy handed with it, it will it won't show but it kind of looks like it's there. So we've got this bit down here so I think I'm just going to put that down there like so and then I'm just going to put a very little wiggle, very little wiggle, that's all. And that will keep that in place nicely. Making sure I've got the fold at the right place. And that my card is straight. Yeah, look at that. Oh, a bit wonky on one side. There we go. Beautiful. There we go. Lovely. Oh, I'm pleased with how that came out. Now, shall I put something on it? A little bit of bling? You can never go without too much bling. Can you? Let me see what I've got over here. Have I got... Oh, I've got some... Oh! Oh, let's have... Let's have something a bit sparkly, shall we? I don't want too many, though. So, I think what I'm going to have... I'm going to have one of those. Whoops. Oh, I need to see that bit has been out in the air and dried off a bit. So I just you just turn it, and a little more will squeeze out. Can you see it coming? And then when I think I've got enough, I just turn it back the other way, and that stops it. There we go. So why don't I just put one? That's all I'm going to put on there. Done. Don't want to over embellish things. So there we go. There's my card. I'll get that out of the way. So that's using the Magnolia Lane designer series paper and the stamp sets, as you can see. So thank you very much for watching today. I will put the details of the measurements um, on a blog post, which I'll link below. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please um, click the like button and hit subscribe and then you'll be notified when I load some more. Thank you very much. Bye.